Hey everyone, this is the Signum 3. It is the latest in my ergonomic 40% design, and uh, it's, uh, it's just great. Uh, the PCB was designed to have uh, three positions for each individual switch in the column, so that you can adjust the height of the, the entire columns up or down. You can adjust all of them up or down, or the individual ones higher or lower based on your finger height. That's uh, something that's pretty new. I'm not sure I've seen anyone else do it. It's just made to be as easy as possible. You actually can't install a switch on one and install an X switch on one that's also covered for the same switch. So you, you, you kind of can't screw it up. <laughs> uh, but you can just put, pop the switches in, put caps on them, try it out, and don't solder them in place. And then if you, you want this to be a little higher, we'll just pop the switches out and move them up move them all up and then try it out again and when you find finally get them where you like them just flip it over and start soldering them in place now this is made and designed for the teensy 2.0 it has the the footprint for it and the pins match up for the input and output so with some header pins or with the, with the header sets you just attach it right to the top it's actually made so that everything sits on top of the circuit board as much as possible leaving the bottom of the circuit board as flat as possible so that you can put something like uh, this is shelf backing that I use but you can also use something like a uh, like this like a mouse pad something like that on the back end of it just something that would be flat and kind of a a nice attachment method that reduce or increases the friction so the keyboard doesn't slide around on the circuit board but still also protecting the uh, the electronics the exposed electronics on the bottom part of building this in an up or building this uh, so that things sit on top of the board is it keeps everything as low as possible uh, I also like that since you're distributing the weight across the entire board for the traction instead of having you know foot pads here here or here you're distributing the weight and you can put this on top of a laptop keyboard and just set it right on top and type normally without activating any of the keys so you don't have to worry about deactivating the laptop keyboard and after you reboot deactivating it again the wire channel is set up here so that you can plug straight into it obviously there's support for it it sticks above the circuit board so it, it slides in with no problem you don't have to worry about you know uh, shaving off the the top of the plug or something so that it fits because it's so close to the circuit board uh, but it also has these slots right here for it in case you want to permanently attach the uh, the cable so these are basically just holes completely through the circuit board that you would run say uh, you know a zip tie through get like a, a red or rainbow different colored zip ties and run them through there and cinch down the cable so that if you accidentally pull on the keyboard or the cable gets yanked for whatever reason you're not damaging this uh, sensitive connector here plus then you can wrap the whole thing wrap the cable around once you have that secure mount point without putting any kind of torque on this uh, connection this model is it's the prototype and it's really just kind of a proof of concept it uh, it, it works great I, I really like that we can that I can customize things and match it to my finger height because on the last model I wanted to move this column down but at the same time I wasn't sure if I was going to mess things up by moving it down so with this design I can move it down and if I don't like it I can move it up and I can move these keys up and leave this key down further uh, that's all the options are there and I like this I like these little corner keys for pressing with these corners of my hand very useful I think it opens up the board and uh, adds to the functionality of being able to access more layers and if you put that on a square board these are just kinda in a different position because you're you wind up squaring up and curling your hands up so I think this is a good design uh, I look forward to tweaking things in the future adding some new features I wanna uh, duplicate a couple of these keys make this key so you can put it in here or you can put it in here and have a third thumb key I'm not too keen on it but a lot of people are 
but uh, this is this is Signum 3. Uh, uh, like I said, this is just the prototype. I still have a few prototype boards left, but I'm already working on the new features for the second uh, prototype, second second prototype, the second build, and I want to be selling these as kits and uh, easily accessible kits so that people can get into a 40% and they can get into something that's ergonomic and something that can really help them get work done without actively injuring their wrists and damaging their their poor carpal tunnels. Uh, if you have any comments, let me know. Any questions, let me know. Uh, just, uh, just excited about this. Looking forward to getting some new ones out, uh, making some changes, and uh, sending these out to people so that they can enjoy a 40% without, well, enjoy keyboarding without uh, actively damaging themselves. <laughs> so thanks a lot.